Welcome back. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice, nice to see you here. Hello there. Hello. We are now onto talking points. The con non-controversial, non <sighs> non-car racist part of the show. Car racist. Here we go. Made this the, is actually a bit awkward. Made the hate fly. This from. is a bit awkward now, yeah, having said yeah. that. That's so, why we're doing it. Yeah, this is yeah. why we've got to get it out. We've just got to get it out of the system. So what I want to know is, and we wrote this a little while ago when it was in prototype form, and now it's been released, I think, now, isn't it? Or it's about to be released or something. Been reviewed. Been reviewed, so it's kind of inco incoming. Basically, why are people losing their shit over the Up GTI? Because we talk, kind of mentioned this in the last podcast where we sort of talked about the Monte Carlo, City Go Monte Carlo yeah. thing, isn't it? Which was also a bit of a damp squib. Yeah, it was in the For Shame. It was in the news. For, for, for Shame! Shame. Mm. For Shame! Excellent segment. Um, yeah. But, and, and, and the shit is being lost on this. The and shit people, is totally People are being, like, where's my shit? Yeah, where's my shit? Where's, where's, lost it? where's my shit? It's in an up GTI. I must mm. own one. Because basically, it's it's this kind of... It's sort of the same size and sort of the same power as a Mark One Golf. So it is. Like, it's like a golf. It's like a golf. I find that really like bizarre that we we anchor ourselves in this kind of rose tinted glasses kind of attitude. Of yeah. Like, if something is the same size and power as something before, then that by default makes it. Go, I yeah. don't get that because they've got to share. People, they've got to share something, and it's these, like it's not like these people who are who are losing said shit. <laughs> It's not like they're like, I'm just having to buy a Mark 1 Golf all the time. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got five of them, but I need something. There's absolutely nothing else out there that yeah. matches it for like, size and power. It's really it's, weird. It's kind of what we were saying last week. It's people in sort of like modern sort of leased golfs, polos, mm. passats. And it's like, oh, I'd love a Mark 1 Golf, but... They're a bit dirty, them classics, aren't they? So I'll get one because it's like a it's like it's like a Mark One Golf. It's like the same. How one. can they, how can they have that as a badge of honour? Because doesn't like, this only highlight how big Volkswagens yeah. have got? How much that's fat. true. Yeah, because like, because Volkswagen have been like so proud of themselves about how the Golf hasn't got any bigger than like yeah. a Mark Four. Or yeah, yeah like, Golf Yeah, and, and they're like, like in the same segment and all this and stuff, all yeah. this and like well, hang on a second, if you up, yeah. Which is that? Did he still do the Lupo? No, it was up. They did the Lupo, then they did the Fox, and right. the Fox was a proper like bargain basement, yeah. like even more than the Lupo yeah. was, because a lot of people didn't like the Lupo, although the Lupo GTI was supposed to be quite good. And then so they did the Fox, and it was like, oh. so then they made the Up, yeah. which is kind of like bargain basement, but with a lot of tax yeah. to it to make it look expensive. I mean, I don't get it. Like, like but, surely this is like the Polo becoming as big and lardy as the Golf Mark II. Yeah. And then being like dead chuffed about. But like in general, like it has to be said, like uh, you know, take my car racist hat off. I do struggle to tell the difference between a polo and a golf these days. They yeah, are rather yeah. large now. Yeah, it? So I think this is it. It's just that it, it happens with a lot of cars, doesn't it? It's kind of how. Is there a? No, there isn't anything below. The so is there still a polo? There's still a polo. So the up is smaller than a polo. Yeah. But the up is now the size of the original golf. Yeah. So there's actually. Not just a golf, yeah. In the race. It's actually another car that yeah, should yeah. be smaller. So I m imagine, like maybe like five or ten years ago, the Polo was the same size. How as big the... is a bloody golf oh, now? God knows, God knows. Small country. It's probably bloody like yeah. Hell. I know. So anyway, German invasion technically. Yeah. <laughs> That's they're covering land, they're covering territory. That's what they're doing. The VW Blitzkrieg. Yes. I know, yeah. So. It's look like the Up GTI, it's kind of like everyone's going, oh my god, and it's in the prototype stuff, and now they're being yeah, reviewed. Yeah. And it looks a bit like, well, let's just riff off the GTI thing. Let's just stick some tartan seats in it, because oh, all GTIs it's have tartan seats. It's not radical. And it's like, oh, it's a crazy, it's a crazy. I know people like, are like, not... like, like, as if like German, like, like the, the, they've got the best yeah. sort of professors. And scientists and research team, and they've worked out the DNA of yeah. a golf, which is that they've never stopped giving it plaid seats. Formed like a new Camelisher, yeah. whatever it was called. You know that secret yeah. kind of prototype to sort this effort. out. They're like, we need the latest tech to put tartan seats yeah. in up, and then stick some gloss plasticky bits on, and maybe like a slightly sort of sporty bumper. I don't get it. You know, it's not just people on the internet that are losing their shit. Yeah. Journalists are. Yeah. And I'm... It's, 
Why? I don't get it. They, they're going I mean, I'm, out. I'm reining in my my racism here. It does not to sixty in like ten seconds. Yeah. Right? So it's not fast, really, by any extent of the imagination. Probably got like a city-based. Oh no! System. Apparently, it will cock a wheel. This is like oh, this is like Jesus. this is defying cars. Apparently, this is how it works. When you go around the corner now, yeah. it's better if you've got less rubber on the tarmac. This is like the this is how golf, this yeah. is how Volkswagen and, and and the crazy vagers out there yeah. have all managed to to become so cultist yeah. about something. Now, cocking a wheel's good. Yeah, you don't want that. Apparently, you don't want that no. rubber on the tarmac no. anymore. You don't want that extra it's resistance. It's not an extra grip. It's like a shorthand for I'm a bit fun. It's like it corners like a Robin Reliance. <laughs> <laughs> and then they get so excited about it. I like that. They get proper excited. Yeah, about and what it. I don't understand about that is when you break it down, ultimately it's that all that is is it's just progress. Like we now have stiffer cars than yeah. ever before. It's like cars couldn't do it in the past because there was so much flex in them that they probably you know they would if you put a cage in them. But those sort of old the cars, old trailing arm, yeah, you know, torsion and that's suspension. It. Exactly, you couldn't, yeah. you couldn't get that. But you've got drop. stiffer cars. You've got stiff yeah. suspension because it's a GTI. Of course, it's not got the droop to. It. It's yeah. just like, come on. Anyway, you just stop the springs falling out. Yeah, exactly. Wrong. That's it. <laughs> so, it's kind of like yeah, and like say journalists have got all the gardens, all this kind of like. Yeah. I need, I need to lease one now. I need to oh, lease one because you wouldn't want to own so it. Like it's peppy. It's fast. They've mastered this. They've. I don't. I do not understand. No. The I just don't get it. I so, think it's one of these things I'm going to look back on with embarrassment. It's one. Of, I think it's one of those things where it's 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 amazing, and then like the refresh will come out, and it'll be like, it's amazing, and the old one was crap, and then like the new one, it's amazing, and the old, but like massively so, like way more than just normal evolutionary progress. It'll just be like this is every every time it will be a whole new thing. I just don't think anyone's thinking anymore. It's like new iPhone updates and stuff like that. It's yeah. just like they're just baiting like the cultists. So mm. easily, Volkswagen are. It's just so easy for them to just go, you know, they just yeah. go, tartan seats, yeah. and all the lights yeah. rain down on them. And like, it's like, it, it's like a Mark 1 Golf, all you classicists yeah. out there. And it's just, but, so I did, because yeah, I'm maybe. a bit nerdy like this, I did a bit of a comparison. I can't um, imagine what against. Tell us. Well, no, I think I surprise think this, us. Surprise us. I think this is a, I think this is a genuinely interesting comparison. It is. I've seen the numbers already. Given and it is. Given how lukewarm some responses to the other vehicle and how batshit crazy people are yeah. going on about the other. It's the double thing. Yeah, that's it. It's this kind of the cognitive dissonance. Here's what you could have had. Yeah. So, right. So here we go. So it's 115 brake horsepower, and. I don't know, I, 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 I've gladly stayed away from the reviews, but the prototype, they were going to say sub-ton. That's what they were aiming for. So let's say it's a thousand kilos. Yeah. Let's, let's not even, we could say it could be better than that, but let's go for it and just say it's a thousand kilos. Because really, people say sub-ton, and it's usually like when there's no one sitting in it and there's no fuel in it and yeah. you're not putting it in it. And have you seen the sort of yeah. size of the kind of people? That yeah, exactly. Get so you're going to tip it over anyway. Yeah. So, so for the easy maths, that's 150 brake horsepower per ton, unsurprisingly, right? Which works out at, if you say, like, let's say, uh, yeah, at 15 grand, which is where they said yeah. they thought of, it's going to be 130 pounds per brake horsepower. Yeah. Okay. So, then, if we compare it to the GT86, that's 200 brake horsepower, weighs about 1300 kilos. So that's 154 brake horsepower per ton. So it's obviously 115 yeah. brake versus 154. Works out 125 pound per brake horsepower as opposed to 130. Yeah. So similar, but what you get is either a kind of a lukewarm subcompact yeah. that's just based off a city car with a few bits it's thrown a tiny at it. Hatch yeah. Inside, yeah. It's a tiny hatch. Yeah. Never mind the practicality. Yeah. It's like if you just look at the the, the sort of the underlying oh, framework of yeah. it, they're just it's just a little sort of city car with some yeah. bits tacked onto it versus a dedicated sports car chassis and powertrain, and yet. The GTI, people are just like, oh my God, it'll be a revelation on the road. It's what I we must need. get what is what we need. Yeah. I actually what saw, we've all been waiting for. I actually saw time. on the on the prototype when this was first mentioned, I saw in a comment to it, someone said, we need more fun cars yeah. with lower power. Yeah. 
about the about 115 horsepower Crikey. city car, and yet someone gives you a 200 horsepower, yeah. and apparently no, that that 100 200 horsepower sort of we sports need a car. We need a black ball. We so do we can do the equipment so people just so understand. See, yeah. see. But we, maybe we can do the it math. digitally, magical. Oh, no, 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 no. It's too much work. Too much work. We do it on a black. Do it on a black. But basically, do the math. It's like, or maths, as we'd say in this country. Yeah. And it's just, it, I don't get it. I don't get how you can diss the GT86 for being a bit weedy and a but bit crappy. The thing is, right, people talk about, like, the size of a Mark 1 Golf and the power. Like, firstly, right, the interiors of cars <coughs> have shrunk. Yeah. As cars have got bigger yeah. because of the amount of yeah, safety padding, safety. And it's and good, you know, it's yeah, all good. So, yeah, you know, yeah. you don't die, passengers don't die, that's fine. But it's, I mean, the message, the writing's on the wall there. They're boasting about sub 1,000 kilograms. Yeah, yeah. You know, what's a Golf Mark 1? What, 850? Yeah, that, or something yeah, like that. true. That, it's not a Golf Mark 1. It's not yeah. a Mark 1 Golf because all the, the size may be there, but the weight yeah. is a dramatic difference. Yeah. And the dynamics, and like I say, when you sit in it, it's going to feel like a really small oh, yeah. car as opposed to Mark 1 Golf with tiny spindly A-pillars yeah. and all that sort of stuff. It feels cavernous. huge, exactly. Perhaps. Massive sort of glass area. and yeah. So it's just like, I just... I just blah. and again a backdrop of the eighty six and the kind of vitriol that's poured about that. Yeah. I just I think it's a, it's it's just a an example of badge snobbery and just well I like I liked the I like the little finger then very good. I was good. gonna point You were pointing. Oh I thought you were just drinking no, a cup of tea oh, with oh, your oh, little sorry for podcast listeners rather than viewers. We have some pinky pink, pink, extensions. Pink is being elevated. Um I think it for me, it completely reaffirms my view that that Toyota and Subaru got it so wrong by listening to people. And yeah. Listening to people talk about what amazing drivers they are. They want to drive as kind of, they don't. Yeah. Everyone just wants a little shopping car or a medium-sized shopping car. With the right badge. With, yeah. With a a badge, badge badge. Yeah, that everyone gets excited about. And so, some you know. plaid seats for just... Because because of the heritage because of their Scottish because, roots yeah because of their heritage Celtic roots shall we discuss the next one in another video we will or podcast as, as, segment as we've always been as we've you always, ask always done every time I don't know why why I ask but let's do it I will pass this over to you how ceremonial and right. we'll be back shortly we will. <laughs>